my YouTube channel. And welcome back to our Iceland adventure video number two. Part number two. And I don't know if you can hear in the background. We're currently in the car and there's a storm outside. I don't know why it's we're in like it. That. We're in a snowstorm and we basically, as you've just seen from the opening clips, we just went and saw the D3 plane wreckage, which was incredible. It was insane. Like, it is a must see. It, like, it was a moody. Justin Bieber wrote a song that, like, uh, to the music video there. And like, your skin looks really glowy. In it this. does look good. It's because um, I've just been battling. We basically, walk, when you come here, this. there is a car park and you have to pay and it's 750 Iceland money, which yeah. I think is like six pounds <laughs> five or five pounds. Yeah. And then there is either a shuttle bus with for extortion twelve pounds each. Well, it's five minute little ride or a forty minute walk. But it took us half an hour because yeah. we're quick walkers. I feel like if you're like a walking, you know, you're really walking and you're on that mission, you do it in like 30, 35 minutes. But I'm just going to insert a clip here of what happened when we walked. Help me. So I would definitely recommend. My if, legs could have bled. I would recommend getting the shuttle because we got it back because yeah. we're now stuck in another snowstorm and there is another couple that didn't take the I shuttle. Feel for them. I feel for them because they are walking back in this, I can tell. But if you are going to walk one way and you're going to shuttle it one way, definitely get shuttled down there and walk back. Because when you walk back, you've got all like the mountains. Oh, it's so I think we, I wish we knew that because we would have shuttled it there and walked back. Because it's more, whilst you walk there, it's like nothing to see. So yeah, keep that in mind. So if you didn't see our previous video, we basically explored the Golden Circle. We did Reykjavik and everything like that. But now we're in the south. We, we traveled here today. We rode Sorry, Atlantic horses. Atlantic horses. <laughs> Don't say that, they get angry here. But we're now going to explore. So we just wanted to document this so we can look back on it and hopefully inspire yes. you guys to come visit Iceland. So now we're going to explore further on the south coast. Let's go. Incredible. So we have just arrived at one of the glaciers. Oh we've my. We've literally just drove through what you're seeing right now. Is literally, imagine this from the car. That's exactly how we drove. And it was like pure mountains. Just mountains and snow and sun. And when we get past this, I think the glacier's behind here. So we don't want to spoil it until we get there. But it's beautiful. It's like, this is what dreams are made of, I feel like. If you are coming... I must coming, be talking to an angel. I just be talking to an angel. must be talking to an angel. I feel like when you come to Iceland, like, this is what I think when I think of Iceland. I also feel like we're really lucky because it's really good. Yeah, there's like... There's like total today. hardly anyone here at all and the car park's empty for the little glacier. So it's we're going to go and take a look and hopefully have it to ourselves. I feel like this is probably one of my favourite destinations I've ever been to. Like, the landscape is insane. Just look at like, the glacier. I also feel like the camera's not picking up justice. Of how it's, gorgeous it is. It's so, so like pretty and like tranquil. And it's for really some reason, there is just no other tourists here. Like, there's no one in the car park or anything. Like, we've got it all to ourselves. And it's a really popular destination, so I'm not sure really what's going on. <laughs> Babe, where have we driven to? We're coming at the, one of the two waterfalls that we're going to, which is Skogafoss Waterfall. Skogafoss Skoga Waterfall. Skoga Foss waterfall. Skoga and that is it right there. Stella. That's the waterfall, guys. So we're gonna, we're gonna go up and see it, and then we're gonna walk up all these stairs. We're gonna push Matthew and he's gonna go for a little swim. Woo! <laughs> but it is, doesn't see, it's one degrees, apparently, according to my Apple Watch. One degree. We are layered up. We are layered up. It's definitely less windy. And also, if you are in this area, you definitely have to go to the Black Beach at the same time. So that's really big to see. We'll put some clips in now of the Black Beach before we got here. But we're going to go and have a little look. Okay, I said it, was, it wasn't cold and now it's, it's windy. windy. And we have arrived at our final stop of the day, Selja Landsfoss. That's how we think we pronounce it. And this waterfall is special because, well, they're all special. But basically, you can walk right behind the waterfall. Which is going to be so cool. The base, the mountain, the like rocks, you would call this a mountain, wouldn't yeah. you? It like curves okay. inward. So you can walk the cliff, You so you can walk behind the waterfall. See where those people are, those like steps there. 
Um, and then I think you just walk all the way around and you can just go, that's my finger, right up there and then all the way down and then you can like take photos there. So of course we're going to do it. We are fuming because we can see a closed sign, which means we can't go behind the wall. Oh, I don't know why it's closed. Because it's obviously dangerous conditions. I'm just going to do it. No, you're not, babe. We're not, we're not doing it. We're I not am. doing it. Watch me. We're doing it. And here we are. Make but we're not going right behind because all of these rocks, they're just ice. But we are on these steps. Next time we come to Iceland, we will be there getting wet. Yeah, it's very wet. Oh wow, it's just absolutely gorgeous. This is a must. If you're coming to the south of Ireland, you need Iceland, sorry, you need to come. So it is so, God, lots of people have just arrived, but it was so slippy. Like after we took that, we went past the closed sign to take some closer up photos and I almost slipped. So I'm gonna confirm that if it's closed, oh, I can't even get up here. If but it's you've got no grip. If it's closed, it should remain closed. It is so but slippy. They should warn you. <laughs> I can't. I feel like you should be warned because you do have to pay like 700 Iceland money. I feel like the whole point of this, this waterfall is to go behind. behind. So, so it's be a little bit frustrating. Very cool to see. So we're super happy that we've seen it, but it is a bit disappointing that we can't just go there and experience it. But you know what? I'm going to try this side. Think we're going to see. There's a man up there. So I'm like, is he going? Because I mean, I'm definitely a follow the crowd type of guy. found a secret waterfall which hardly anyone knows about when they I come here so... you have to go through the stream to get to it but oh my god right it's just up it's like 500 meters up from the previous waterfall but everyone misses it So it is the next day, obviously, and we are back in the car. We're out in this morning, um, and it's just basically like Matthew's on his own on the road. Snowstorm! Um, it is so snowy. How crazy! It's is beautiful, that? but now there's. So what Matthew said before I turned the phone off, there was tyre marks. No, there weren't tyre marks. There weren't tyre marks. marks. So it's just pure snow, like, like it's ice. Now, and the car's just like, you're skinny. I'm so glad I'm not driving, but it's so pretty. Like literally, how pretty is that? But also very, very dangerous. But also very, very dangerous. But yeah, we're going up to the mountains, having a little explore, having a little wonder. We actually booked a really cute place for lunch, which is like homemade, like, tomato soup, as much tomato soup as she wants, and as much bread as she wants, so you know, we're gonna go there. But like, we didn't realise it was gonna be like, take us inside the outbacks of snowy mountains. <laughs> We've arrived at Baxi Waterfall. Now this is just off of the Golden Circle, just off the track and a lot of people miss it. And it's a tiny, tiny charge to park in the car park. But this is definitely one not to be missed because it is, I will never get sick of looking at waterfalls. Do you feel the same? So good. He's currently doing an Instagram story. But the snow is so thick today. Like we've got, we've almost crashed a car about a hundred times it is so thick. It doesn't look thick here because lots of people have walked, but you can see how kind of thick it was. And it's also really weird because like, if we, this is like in the middle of Iceland, so I always imagine like the top points of Iceland to be more snowy. It's kind of in like red to the middle and it's like this snow. Mental, isn't it? It's all getting close. Woo! did get to fly his drone which is really cool but this is where we are going it's basically unlimited soup tomato soup which they grow their tomatoes or oh, what can you see the little light in the distance so this and is called Frida Hema and apparently we've been, well we've been recommended it a lot and apparently it's a must come to if you come to the golden circle we did drive past actually when we were here at the beginning of the trip on our previous vlog and we just didn't stop yeah. so now we're stopping we're gonna have some soup you get unlimited soup and unlimited bread rolls and i think it was like i want to say like two thousand each what's that 13 pounds each so we're gonna go and do that and hopefully they have a nice dessert oh, too yes
So the tomato soup was incredible, but now we're at like a hot spring, which is basically here. We've just paid a natural, a natural hot spring, which I'm super excited about. And we've just paid here. But basically, it's just like, it's naturally 40 C, 40 degrees. So we're gonna try and find it by walking up. And it's very windy and cold. And so it's raining. And we've got wet trunks to cut off. Yeah, really literally. So we're winning. Oh, this is so cool, this honestly. Can you see the steam? Like the steam starting to come off just behind there. It's so cool. So basically, this is where you get changed. It's like a little hut. Like this can be more like naturous. Yeah, it couldn't be more naturous at all. And because, oh my God, there's no one here. Oh my God, this is amazing. So we just go in here. Oh. Uh, all of them are hot. This is so cool. So nice for the memories when I look back at it so lately. My feet are actually ice. <laughs> and here he is, the lady of leisure. Just chilling out. So nice. Wow, look how pretty that is. Before we fly home, we thought we'd come to the bridge in between two continents. And this is right near the airport, flying back from Iceland. So we thought we would... We, no, that's not what a continent is. But we're just going to basically have a little look. This is like a big walk where you go under the bridge, but we've just parked the car over there. It's super easy to do. It takes like two seconds. It's very, very close to the Blue Lagoon, by the way. So, so if you go to Blue Lagoon, it's got like an extra five minutes. It's quite cool just to... It's definitely yeah. worth seeing and checking out, but we just wanted to do it to say we'd been here. And we've now stood in between two continents. Woo! And I can confirm the wind today is windy. It's windy. So we've come to like... A little guy said, I'm I'm <laughs> It smells so bad. My phone. Basically, it's coming from there and it absolutely stinks. So, we've driven five oh. minutes down from like a really green, non snowy area and then this just changed into this kind of scenery. But what I'm just about to turn the camera around and show so you so insane. Stunning. Three. Two, one, ta-da! Ta Look how amazing it is. It's like a little like lake uh, that we've come across. And we, will, but we don't know what it's called, so we'll put the name here because it's on our phone. We just stumbled across it. We were literally Google just maps. driving, weren't we? We were just driving, exploring like this whole, like, whole area. But literally, we drove all the way down there and it was just like normal roads. And as soon as we came in this area, it's just like full on like snow absolutely everywhere but we're actually going to carry on driving in a minute after exploring i mean look at that we're going to carry on driving because there's like another like geyser um place steam that we're gonna... in the... oh it's gonna be so nice but we're gonna go down to the water and we're gonna put one finger in each if we can reach it it's not <gasps> no we are we are we're gonna see how cold it is i don't think it'll be that cold i know it's cold but i don't think the water's gonna be that cold we'll find out right babe get a finger out ah. so take my glove take my glove we're gonna do one each okay like, oh my god, it looks it. so cold! This isn't just gonna collapse and we're gonna fall in, are we? Oh. Oh god. Oh god. Right. One, Three, two, two, one. Oh, oh, that is. Oh, that it's is. cold, but not cold, cold. I mean, if you went in there for like 10 seconds, you're definitely. Yeah, if you in went it. in naked, but. <laughs> so we can confirm our fingers are now really cold. <laughs> And just like that, we're back home. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it's probably like uh, probably like a week later. <laughs> we've been going through all the footage and we really hope you enjoyed exploring Iceland with us. It was literally so much fun and thank you so much for taking You're me. You're welcome. It was literally the best trip ever. I feel like if you, if you didn't make you wanna go to Iceland, uh, hopefully this made you guys wanna go to Iceland because it was actually so, so much better magical. than I actually like anticipated. It was just incredible. But if you haven't seen part one, then make sure you do go back and watch part one. It doesn't 
matter if you've come from part two or part one. They are both like really, really amazing vlogs. And make sure you check it out. The link is in the description below, or there might be a sticker here too. And don't forget to give this video a massive thumbs up and like this video, subscribe, turn the notification bell on, because if you turn the notification bell on, you will, you will not, not miss, miss an upload ever. And if you've got any Iceland kind of questions or any video suggestions, leave them in the comments because yes. we reply to so many of our video comments because we love you guys so much. And we want to know from you guys, where is your dream destination? So leave a comment and let us know where is the place you've always wanted to go to because I find that such a fascinating question. Thank you so much guys for watching and we'll see you next Saturday at 10am for the next upload. Love you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.